Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Disciples 2. Apparently, the issue we had last time was caused by Fraps. Because as soon as I stopped recording, the game unfroze and I was able to continue. And so here we are. Going to try to take down two wolves that will attack my weaker Phantom Warrior. And then just kill the other one with the massive damage from the Arch Liches. And then, since I've got this area down here to check out, I will summon a skeleton to do that. And all that is down here is a squire with some archers in his party. So I can take care of that really quickly on my next turn. Or maybe the turn after. I think I'll have to kill a couple of these guys first. Of course we will have to sit through the Empire and Mountain Clan's turns. Not that they'll be doing much, aside from maybe going to the shop. Because unless they break alliance with one another, there's really nothing for them to do. Which one? I think I'll attack the one with the Sky Lord first. He's the one that's most in my way towards getting. Ooh, wow, that hurt. But he's paralyzed now, so nothing more to worry about. And these three in the back should be able to take him down to nearly dead, and then Brian can finish it off. Good experience for that. Very nearly leveled up. So I'm gonna head down here, and do I need... I will swap him over here, I'm not sure if I really need to do that. I might be able to kill him before he attacks. But I'd rather be safe. <sighs> Little extra experience, not really worth it. Lot of elves hanging out in the area. Yeah, I'm going to have to punch my way through the gates, and then I think I might just skip over most of that. Depending on what I see. Well, another set of walls. And here is Taladriel the Sorceress, with a blue dragon, an elf lord, and an oracle elf. So this is probably going to be a little difficult. We'll have to do a little more scouting to see what else is in there. But we might be able to go directly for her. fight the bare minimum number of elves necessary and then take off for the queen and finish this mission
darn it. I was hoping that would not happen. So now I'm going to have to kill a thief in order to get through. Kind of annoying. Unless I were to research... Oh, never mind. The elves will take care of it for me. Glad to see that. And we now will need to do some healing. At least a little bit. See what we're up against. A Skylord and a Forest Elf. We should be fine just to go in like this. Maybe do some more healing after the battle. Very nearly lost another Phantom Warrior. It could have happened. We might still lose one if we uh, end up missing with any of these. It's all up to Brian now. Of course, he doesn't usually let us down, so not a problem there. And we'll give a couple more potions to these guys. There we go, doing pretty well. Went through pretty much all of my potions though. And I won't be able to get through here. We have entered the elven city, master. The elves are well versed in the practice of magic. Advance with caution. We meet at last, undead. You will pay dearly your intrusion in our lands. I will punish you for the evil you spread throughout the lands. And how will you achieve this godless race? We have Mortis behind us. We will prevail again. I will need no god to rid the land of you. My sorcery will be sufficient. I will destroy them myself, Taladriel. Have no fear. Darn it. Well, we should be able to handle this pretty well. The only problem is our skeletons will get a bit beat up. And since they've all attacked already, um, we're going to have our skeletons wait so that they can clean up anybody that might be left. Of course, nothing is left after we're through with them. So, no big deal there. Ah, oh, goodness, our skeletons are really taking a beating, though. In fact, I might let them die. At least temporarily. Because if I were to let them die, then Brian can take all of the melee damage. That was odd. Yeah, Brian can take all of the melee damage. And he'll really he'll be fine no matter what. And the Arch Liches will only have to worry about any ranged damage. And any ranged units should be taken out fairly quickly. So I'm not too concerned for them. The only issue is I'd have to run back to a city somewhere in order to heal everybody afterwards because skeleton warriors, or phantom warriors rather, are really expensive to revive. Hey, they survived. Oh, come on. I don't like the elves anymore. 
Of course, I never really did. Let's be honest. Well, that was lucky. And I'm sure we'll get attacked again. Yeah, this is not going to go very well. It looks like I don't have a choice in letting my skeletons die. Because it's going to happen anyway. Yeah. This kind of sucks. But that's alright, we can always run back to a city somewhere and spend all our gold. Oh, jeez. Well, there go my skeletons. Now Brian will be taking all of the damage. Which is perfectly acceptable. Of course, the one directly in front of me never attacked. That's a bit odd. It's the one with centaurs in it, though. One that I do not like. So now my arch liches will be in a bit of trouble. I think one of them will go down. For sure. Well, this is no fun at all. But we're through. So let's do a little bit of scouting. I can't get through to the dragons in this direction either. So I'm going to have to go through this wall. Where Teladriel is. In fact, I'm going to summon a skeleton in the dragon pen. Just so I can get an idea of where I need to go. Because I have a feeling this is almost totally enclosed. Well, I think this might be the path through, but in order to get there, we have to go past Teladriel, who we need to kill. Not really the most effective way. Why is this happening constantly. There's no point to summoning a golem there. Unless it goes shopping for you, which I doubt. Now the elves, they are going to chase us down. Uh, well that's too bad. Nothing we can do about it really. And we lose another arch lich. Things are not working out so well for us, are they? Of course, Brian is surviving easily. And he finally levels up. As does our other remaining Arch Lich. Which is handy. So now what do we want? Air Ward? Earth Ward? I think I'm going to go with the 
Air Ward? Earth isn't really all that common. Neither is air, really. But I think some of the elves have air-based attacks. So we'll go with the Air Ward for now. Yeah, I'm going to have to punch through here next. Skylords and Centaur Lancers. And in that case, it's all melee damage. And these guys are getting fairly close to leveling. I'm going to revive them. And see what happens here. See if we can get enough experience. So that they can level up. For free healing. Brian is actually in a little bit of trouble. Surprisingly. But this is really heavy damage. Which he heals back no problem. So really nothing to be worried about. Yeah, 446, and they'll get enough in the next battle to level up. So I am not concerned. I'm gonna summon the skeleton here, though, just in case we get some spells cast on us or something. You have desecrated our sacred earth, corpse men. We are obliged to defend ourselves and destroy you. This is exactly why... I did not want to go forward with Brian. We stand with you, elves. Unite our forces against the abominations. Oh, so he's empire-controlled now. Interesting. To me, dragons, I call upon you once more to, sa to save the elves. And now the dragons are coming down. Okay, see, this is exactly what I expected. And they are now Empire-controlled as well. Which is not so bad. Oh, well, my skeleton is sacrificing himself for the greater good. All I'm hoping for here is that... The dragons decide not to attack before I get a chance to attack the centaur lancer. Otherwise, my arch liches will die immediately. So let's see how this turns out. If not well, I might have to reload a previous save. Or stock up on... or not stock up, buff up with a lot of potions. Because if I can increase Brian's damage output, that should actually be enough to get through everything. I mean, the dragons are not much of a threat, let's be honest. We fought them before. The thing I'm worried about is Teladriel because she's doing 177 damage to everybody. He's doing 140, he's doing 70, and she's healing 84. And the problem I've got with this is... Wow. Okay. Everybody's dead. Let's see how this turns out. Brian wins, and she runs away, which is perfect. That means I have an opportunity, if she runs away again. Run away again, please. Thank you. For me to run past her, to go to the ruin that is farther along, where those dragons were kept, and I have a chance to see what that treasure was that was in there. Because as we see, Brian is amazing. Able to kill everything on his own. It's the one reason why Nosferats are the best choice.
aside from the really slow, agonizing process of leveling them at the beginning, once they get to this point, there's no stopping them. Especially if I did add a few potions in there. Potion of Might. And whatever else I've got. Potion of Striking. So now I should be able to get past. And... Not quite able to make it there on this turn, so I'll summon a Skeleton just to make sure it's something I can handle. If not, I can always use some potions to make sure. But yeah, this will be pretty easy. It's all area effect. And we've fought worse already. In Teladriel. So let's see what Teladriel does now. I'm assuming she's going to run away to another city somewhere. I'm hoping she doesn't decide to go into the Empire capital because that would make things really difficult. If I have to fight her in a city, I just don't think I can handle it. Especially in the capital. Any other city, I have a chance, but the capital might be a little too much. That 50% armor bonus will cut down our damage considerably. Oh no, she's just gonna chase us. So that's fine. So now all I have to do is go into this ruin, steal whatever treasure is there, and then go kill Teladrio. It is exciting. Being this close to the end. So let's go kill a couple dragons real quick. And hopefully get something worthwhile. Gold and a banner of war. Banner of war. Even if we take off our banner of protection, where you've still got 65 armor, which should be plenty. And we're doing a lot more damage this way. I think I would prefer the damage, especially considering the more damage he's doing, the more he heals himself. And we'll take a couple of potions with us. What will be more useful? I'm thinking just the damage potions, really. Well, let's go kill... Oh, we... Well, we can't make it to her. But she'll attack us on the next turn, I'm sure. So let's end our turn and wait for that to happen. It will be one of the first things to happen. Because that she is on the Empire's team now. Of course, we have to wait for the thieves to move everywhere first. And now we get attacked, and we should be able to kill her now. I'm actually going to sit here and battle it out. Or maybe I'm not. This is really going to be close if I... Yeah, okay, you know what I'm going to do then? I think I might have lost the mission by doing that. Yes, I have. So in that case, I'm going to have to load my campaign. Um, Autosave is what I need. And I'm going to have to give myself some potions ahead of time. Really, all I think I need is one of these. And that should be enough. 
but since we've got... Uh, well, we'll give him this potion. And then we'll take one of those instead to the next mission. And we'll give him a potion of striking. And we don't need any wards because she's got a life-based attack. Initiative is useless for him. He's already attacking um, first. No matter what. He's got 102 initiative. So that will be fine. That's all we need. And even if she doesn't attack us, we've got another another couple potions that we can give him for the next turn. I'm still not sure what this is about. I mean, it would make sense if he was trying to kill one of the Mountain Clan's parties, but... They're allied with one another. Maybe he's just showing off. Yeah, she didn't attack us this time because we're too powerful. So what we're going to have to do is attack her ourselves. Of course, I will have to remember to potion up. It's too bad I wasted my um what do you call them damage potions but that should be enough right there and we do have a couple spells actually that I almost forgot about don't we I thought I had I never actually researched them did I okay so what's most important Reducing by damage, or reducing by 33% the damage, or the chance to hit by 20. Armor? I don't know if she's got armor. I'll reduce her damage output. Definitely better to do that. Because even with a lower chance to hit, I'm sure she'll somehow work her way around that. And we can give strength to Brian. There we go. Extra 10% anyway. And, well, we've got it, so might as well cast it. And now let's go forward and finish this thing off. Yeah, she's doing a lot less damage now. She does have armor, a lot of it. So it probably would have been better to go with the armor reducing. But this should work just fine since we've got insane armor. Yeah, we can definitely take her out very easily. But we do have to do this manually. Otherwise, she will run away, I'm sure. 12 damage. Yeah, not really doing too well, is she? Actually, reducing her armor might have been the better option. I would have been able to heal more. So the extra damage she would have been doing wouldn't have mattered. And it would have went a lot quicker. Because at the moment, I'm only doing around 55 damage. This is going to take some time. Still, only about... 10 more attacks left.
You know, if I wasn't worried about saving this for the next campaign, I would just use it. I wonder what we'll get for killing her. We'll probably get that talisman she used. To summon an elf lord. And we would have gotten that potion she had if she hadn't used it in one of our previous encounters. I'm sure she hasn't got too many cool items left. Alright, this is it. This will be the end of the mission. Brian is the only one left. Again. Ooh, a banner of fortitude. Exactly what I was looking for. That's not so great. That's not so great. We've already got some of those. How? How could you defeat me? Soloniel is truly dead. Our gods have forsaken us. It was Mortis' desire, elves. Soloniel is no more. F forgive me, my children. I can protect you no more. It is time to revive Mortis' consort. Prepare the ceremony. Sweet! Um, successfully completed. The only problem is... Oh, there we go. I do have a chance to equip the banner that I just got. So I'll be doing a little less damage overall. But we've got 85 armor. So any damage we can take will be reduced by a lot. And we'll be able to heal everything back pretty much instantaneously when we attack. I would much prefer having the armor to the damage. So we'll keep this set up. This is exactly what I would like to do. I don't think I can transfer any units. In fact, no, I can't. But let's see, 102 initiative is doing 134 damage. Chance to hit of, what, 97? And armor of 85, immunity to death, ward to fire, water, and air. I think this is our best hero so far. Of course, we've only had two, so... There we go, Brian has been saved. The Walking Dead defeated Taladriel, the Elven Queen and the ritual to revive Galleon could finally begin. The hideous troops were to witness the rebirth of Mortis's fallen consort. The sun rose at night, and from it Galleon was reborn. From the infinite, Galleon had gazed long at these lands, helplessly contemplating the chaos and evil Mortis had unleashed. The Elder God eyed Mortis with disdain, and then disappeared, unable to forgive her the terror she had sown in the world, and in the hearts of his elven children. Mortis's rage grew when her ungrateful mate vanished and spurned her eternal love. She could not comprehend how he could abandon her again. She could not see what she had become. Well, Galleon is back, but he's not happy. And neither is Mortis, by the sounds of it. So I'm assuming in the next campaign, she will be very upset, and she'll be trying to kill Galleon. 
or something. Maybe trying to imprison him. I actually haven't played the next campaign, so I don't know. We'll find out once we get to it. But we still have to go through the Mountain Clans and Legions campaigns. I'm thinking I'll do the Mountain Clans next. Not sure if I'm going to start it immediately or not. But it'll probably be pretty soon. So keep an eye out for that. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, thanks you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next campaign.